important to make a distinction between gaming addiction and excessive gaming. Now, if some child is playing, you know, for excessive lengths of time, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're addicted. Because addiction comes with um, a set of negative consequences. Um, if your child uh, is withdrawing from social contact, if the relationships are suffering, if let's say uh, they are procrastinating, they are sleeping less, they are generally, you know, self-care is lacking, uh, becoming more irritable and all, then there's a chance that they're addicted. Why is it that the child is addicted to gaming in the first place? It gives these children a chance to develop relationships, to practice skills, to gain, you know, ascendancy or power over their opponents, uh, you know, represent themselves in different avatars and all. So essentially, it's like this alternate sort of a universe that the child is functioning in and is creating. And for some children who have social skills issues or relationship problems, self-esteem issues, this actually gives them an out. So it is possible that your child is seeking refuge in something like this. It's, they're actually getting something out of it, obviously. So, I mean, uh, first of all, trying to eliminate the behavior completely is, is not the best approach. So um, give them certain time limits um, and, and reinforce good behavior, whether it's social interaction or let's say activities outdoors with positive rewards. And then educate them, make them aware of why they may be indulging in certain behaviors um, and what are the negative consequences and how they can problem solve. So uh, educating your child, uh, giving them some structure and positive reinforcement rather than you know punishing or negative consequences or just trying to eliminate the behavior.